Alright. Okay. I just gotta take a minute. Now I'm winded. I noticed that. I've noticed that. I get more winded. When I went to the park this out morning, yeah. late morning, 11 o'clock, I'm like, man, I don't... My, my, my body's taxed more. Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Marge. I'm a Hilk empath. I just like having these little talks on the way I feel about things. I forgot to turn on lights. I'm not going to turn on the big light. I'm too hot. I'll turn on the blinky lights. I'll turn on those. <laughs> yeah, look, my, it lights up my painting oh, God. behind there. And then I use, like, metallic paint. So it's like reflective. So when you look at it in here, it's, it's, I don't know, it looks cool. Anyway, another glorious day at the, the hound hut, <laughs> the hut of the hound, the turd herd, the poop troop, and meow, meow express. <laughs> oh my gosh. I spend a great deal of the day accommodating, making sure critters' faces are comfortable. I was just telling mom I might have to take a mad dash down to Espanola and get another one of these more robust stand-up air conditioning units, swamp cooler units. You put water in them. Today I went and got a bag of ice. I get a, I got a 25-pound bag of ice. It's like 275 or something like that. I just grab and, and, and I got some left, so it'll be a block, and then it fits in there perfectly with the filter. I did it yesterday; it worked out nice. As long as you and the critters are cool, I can, I can, I'm fine. I can, I can handle, I can handle it. You guys can't. I can't handle it when you guys are hot. That is more stressful and taxing to me than the actual heat. So, anyway. Uh, what's going on in the world today? I felt pretty lucky, pretty fortunate today. I stopped at the gas station this morning. I was going to go walk in around the park this morning. Get out more, get some fresh air. Get a time out. Go recharge my batteries, be amongst the trees. I like touching the texture of the bark. Feeling their vibration. They have their own frequency, man. I love trees so much. I love them. They all have their own energy. Is it? Anyway. So uh, on the way, I stopped at the coffee shop and the young gal that was working. I looked at her name tag today because I tried to know people and I introduced myself. Because I'm like, I don't have a name tag. It's not fair. My name's Marge, like the Simpson. Because <laughs> I say that and then people, it sticks in their head. Yeah. And, uh, and the, she was so tired. She's like, this is my seventh shift. I said, I'm sorry. You guys just can't get people to work. You guys can't get people. And she's like, yeah, or we hire them. And then they come in for a shift or two. And they're just like, nah. It, nobody has any motivation to do any kind of thing. Man, it's just kind of weird. Anyway, I've come into some realizations lately. Actually, before, I got a really nice compliment. I woke up to a really nice compliment, Ma. I, it doesn't happen very often. Usually, every, I get more often I get nasty grams. <laughs> Someone will try and send me a message because they don't like what I have to say. Uh, they don't like what I have to say on somewhere on social media, so they'll send me a message to just let me know how how wrong I am in life. And I'm just like, whatever. Just delete, 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 whatever. So I woke up to this. It said, it said you were a senior the year I started at CV. And I thought you were freaking amazing. I had a few friends in your class, but I was terrified to approach you. But I remember how awesome of a presence you had. I wonder if my presence has gotten less awesome or more awesome. Because that's what all life is, is like, you know, there's always those kids in school. It's like you think fondly of. It's like, man, they were cool, man. You know, they were always nice to everybody. You know, they were funny. You know, they never really made fun of anybody. You know, 
They weren't ugly and vindictive and spiteful and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, and, uh, and, um, I need to get a drink of water. And, and you just wonder, it's like, where are they now? You know? And a lot of times these people, they chucked all that coolness, all that, you know, level head, and they just went for the, went for the, the golden ring, so to speak. They sold out. They sold out. They sold it. They changed. They exchanged their spirit. I've been worried about my old ticker, honestly, lately. Oh, I oh here's yeah. That's why I've been trying to do exercise cooler in moderation because of those freaking eight anthrax vaccine they gave me. See, and I can't get upset. I think that's one of the greatest life lessons that I am supposed to learn. That is, if I don't learn to not get upset, like I could have a heart attack. Or I could have a stroke. And I don't want to have a stroke or heart attack. I see you, what you went through, and that ain't something when I was 15. And they said, call whoever. You know, she ain't going to make it through the night. And they're so nonchalant. You know, it's like, listen, dude, you're a doctor. I'm a fucking kid. You know, where's your fucking bedside man? I had to yell at the nurses at Reading Medical Center because they, I, mom was having her stroke. She was screaming. She was yelling at the top of her lungs and, and it was just tearing my heart. And the, as the nurses at the nursing station at Reading Medical Center, uh, were, were discussing how, you know, oh, she's probably just another junkie from Central Valley. And my mom never did drug, drugs. I, I saw her intoxicated, like, once I've been trying to get her to smoke doobie my whole life, you know, she she ain't into all that mind altering stuff. She's a higher spiritual being, and and so she don't need it, you know. She's she's a pure spirit, and so so she ain't, she's never been into that. She liked her cross her her many things for a while. She 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 also was walking all over the place. We didn't have a car going to the grocery store a lot, you know. If you need your motivation, anyway, but that wasn't, you know. She was never, I mean, math or none of that, or just none of that, you know. So for these women to act like that and say that, I freaking went out to the nurses. And get, they got, they all got freaking ripped. I chewed them out. I'm 15, I, you know. I'm like, go get a fucking doctor. You know, she's yelling for, her, you know, she's screaming at the top of her lungs. I'm sure that there's something you fucking idiots can do. You know, and... Beep! Oh, we got a job to do? Okay. So... You know, all these people talk about how, like, like wonderful nurses are and firemen. And, and I've had my experiences with them, and they aren't all as fucking positive and rad as everybody else is, you know. They're just freaking spiteful and assholes just like everybody else. They're just wearing a uniform, you know. And so, uh... And then fast forward, because I know... Oh, uh, I, I know people, like, a buddy of mine... Um, he got diabetes after his an anthrax vaccine. He came out with diabetes, you know. No, he. but it's like it taxes your system. And I met a guy today, Jason, and he It was with his buddy Scott. And they have, uh, Scott has uh, a YouTube um, Defender of Ants. It sounds familiar to me, actually. D the Defender of Ants News. He, his YouTube channel is bigger than mine. Anyway, I meet the darndest people at the water house. When I go get ice or pick up water, I have that. Sometimes it's 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 not positive, <laughs> but for the most part, it is a positive encounter. And so he had a minivan with writing on it. You know, it's like something like "Love is the Love is the Answer" or something like that. Anyway, and then on the back he had his. Defender of Ants news written and then uh, his like the Instagram and Twitter, Instacrap, Twitter and the social media. So I pulled by and I was like, what's up? <laughs> My window's right there by the drive because I pulled right up next to him. Uh, no. Uh, it, it, and he smiles, you know. And I get out and I meet Jason and he was in, he was in Desert Storm. He did five years. I didn't even get the branch because I start running my mouth, you know. Sometimes I don't get, I get, it's, I'm practicing. I'm working on engaging and letting people talk 
yell, but sometimes I get excited and burr. Anyway, but uh, from what he was saying, he was in like the Desert Storm shit era, and he did five years. But he like went to Haiti, and when he went, they were like they gave him shit. They gave him injections of shots that he had to sign a waiver for. And I'm sure I've had to sign waivers for things. I'm sure I have. It's just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. You know? And so, I just don't know which one's for. And they're so... But where are the waivers now? And they can't hire, employ anyone to look for the waiver or go get the waiver. So, does the waiver even really exist? <laughs> right? But I'm still fucking poisoned, you know? So, my, my, comp, my, my system was already compromised from... A stressful birth and pregnancy that mom had when I was when I was in the incubator <laughs> and so ooh, that feels good <laughs> massage your heart March <laughs> it's a muscle duh <laughs> oh you think you're so smart Marge you think you're so smart I never think I'm so smart because if, uh, things occur to me every day that's why I'm always trying this and moving that and stuff like that Anyway, so I'm just a little ball of fire. I'm just a little firecracker. So I'm getting older. and That's what I keep telling people around me. I said, you know, I'm, we were just the guinea pigs. We got all these shots and stuff like that. and You know, I'm way more sensitive than anything I've ever been before. You know, I'm way more emotional. You know, I said, there's days I don't go out because it's like I'm going to pop off because there's so many freaking just inconsiderate people I just get it, it you know makes me an inconsiderate person and I'm just like well I'm gonna stay home today and be one less inconsiderate person because I know I know my limits I live in New Mexico it's hot every day there's a new freaking missing person around here the little kittens just woke up from their afternoon nap you know and then, and then God, life gives me examples because the planetary alignments come in, right? And then people, I, I look at the planet, we have free will, right? But the planets and the energies of Saturn, you know, and all the houses and our astrology and stuff like that, they really compel people to feel a certain kind of way, right? Which motivates people to act a certain kind of way. And people have known this CIA with all their freaking, oh, behavior modification, all this stuff, right? All this stuff. So, and now you have injected all of society with some magic elixir <laughs> that they're finding out, you know, in retrospect, oh, that's why they test vaccines for, but they don't care because all the people that want to go on living, they didn't take it, you know, and it's, you know. Whether, whether people recognize, recognize it as population reduction or not, we're going to see a substantial amount. Which compels me to work more on my own spiritual practice and discipline. <laughs> so that I can live as long as I can healthily. I walked around the park today. It's like, it's like three quarters of a mile. Nah, it's not very far. Not very far. And, 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 and then what they say, you know, the older you get, you know. Yeah, but it's just like, nah, I should be able to do better. But I lift weights all day long. That's, you know, I do do that. I do do that. But I, I do have to work on my cardio. So maybe tomorrow I'll walk around it two times and build up. But I can't run. I'm not going to run it. I hate running. I'll never, I don't like running. So, and then the unit, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth it. But, uh, you know, the thing is, is mom and I are really ready to move. <laughs> and I'm really ready to take action now to, to see what I can do to make this happen. I wasn't done with my story about the Ant Defender news. Anyway, I looked at his channel and he, they're restoring Jason and he, they're from Illinois, a 57, a 57... I think no, it's not. It's a 46. It's a 46. It's an old truck. Hold on, what's it called? Let me find out. Defender of ants.
He's got his. He's got like seventeen hundred. Oh, it's a it's a nineteen forty six Chevy Gypsy wagon. This thing, from a maintenance now, it's it's beautiful. And it's made by it. It was made for a rider by a rider. See, he was telling me. I get so excited sometimes. I I lack focus. <laughs> That's when I'm like, I get, when I get in the height, oh, okay, come back down, March. Ground yourself a little bit. Okay, listen to what he's saying. But I still remember both of their names, Scott and Jason. So I'm happy about that. Because sometimes I'll drop that, you know? That's why I, like, repeat it. Because I get excited. I think about, and I want, you know, and I'm out to the property. And there's, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to bring my camera. I gave him my card. And he messaged me right then, the address and stuff. It's out in Arroyo Succo. I know that's not what it's called, but I, I never remember. And I went out there to get coffee one time, and it was a Succo experience. So, Succo Stucco. <laughs> Arroyo Succo Stucco. Anyway, it's them, it's not me. <laughs> Luna, you go, girl. You pretty lady, I'll take you out just a minute. So it's a 46 gypsy wagon. They're waiting on parts and stuff like that. But it's like, Ma, the, the craftsmanship on this thing alone. Just, it gives me, it gives me chicken skin. It makes me all excited just because somebody put a great deal. I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. So go check it out and tell them not so large Marge sent you. And then maybe I'll do a live when I'm out there. And they, they got a cool dog. That's why I was like, you guys get out of here. Um, because it was hot, and where the I, there's no shade where the water shack is. I said your dogs are gonna get hot. You guys get out of here and be on your way. Have a rad day, and you know, and and because they're all gonna be here a couple more weeks. So I really want, you know, maybe I'll set it up like after you, after all dogs are out and stuff in the morning, and you have breakfast and, and whatnot. I can run out there. It's probably about a 20 minute drive, 25 minute drive. Hang out for. A little while and then cruise back or I could even do it on a on like a on a on a dental day where I have to drop off the dog for a dental because it's all the way up the possibilities are endless you know I know that that one climbs up my leg learned it from when it was a baby oh you they're starting to be mean why did that be mean about it there are not too many meats. Be nice. Don't you love each other? Don't you love each other? Kitty kitty love. No, we want to be mean. There's too much mean. Too much mean. Oh, that's what it is. Some about, some about hate. But love is the answer. To, I don't. I can't remember what he wrote. Wrote it was. But it's just like, I don't know. But so I was cool to hear Jason's experience. On, um, uh oh, what have I done? March, don't show the baby kids flashing lights with electricity that they might bite. <laughs> Here, go back to where you were, but be nice to each other. Y'all twins and stuff. So, what else? Um, So Scott travels around a lot, fucking bringing drama. People, that's the thing about having places like this is people have a tendency to bring their drama, right? You know, but see, you, you can make it how you like. That's the thing about it. And I would have a dry campus, you know? That's cool, people have a beer at the end of the day. That I, I see. I like drinking too much. I don't want it. I don't want to be around it. And I don't like. And there's the people that can and and have a drink. And then there's the people that freaking get falling down wasted like me. And that's what I don't want to be around. So I'll pass on the booze. 420 friendly. You know, I'm all about the recovery scene. All you know, and if you're having a hard time, everybody's got something to recover through trauma freaking you know what everybody's got it but i want to have a place where travelers can come and like crash 
Like if you have maintenance to do on your vehicle, you have the facilities there, you know? Like a garage, you'll have all the tools. You have, you know, heat in the winter. You know, airflow, maybe not air, not conditioning, you know, that's, that's a little too much, but airflow in the summer, you know, tools always have mechanics that I know so many mechanics around here, that a couple, or I know a handful, a couple of good mechanics. I'm a good mechanic. I'm a rad troubleshooter. I really don't like doing the maintenance anymore. I don't, the, it's just, it's, uh, I'm reminded, it reminds me I'm getting old <laughs> or older. So, um. I let, there's yellow, you know, I can teach the young people how to do it, you know, and talk them through it and educate them. Yeah, I'm, Ma, yeah, I've been, I am, a, thank you, Ma, I appreciate that. Mom said I'm a good teacher, I appreciate that. I'm a good leader, because I'm not going to ask anybody to do anything that I'm not willing to do myself. Ever, I'm never, I would not, or and I'll show people, this is how I want you to do it, you know, kind of thing, right? So a place with all the maintenance facilities. And then also have share, shower places, places to shower. Because, God, man, after you haven't showered for a couple of weeks and you just got life on you from traveling around in the heat and stuff like that, or cold, you know, having a nice facility, maybe even a sauna place, you know, have a nice sweat kind of thing. Yeah. And then, uh, and then people can contribute to the maintenance of the property and things like that in exchange for staying there you know help do it you know work in the garden because of course we're going to have a garden Cause my, my our thumbs are too green not to freaking to create things you know that's what that's we're supposed to be the practitioners of this planet and just create a world that's why i was telling the guys today i said you know i'm done with trying to save the planet i'm done with all that i said i'm going to try and make a little piece of heaven on earth here in Taos, New Mexico, yeah, with the people that I come across. Well, the guys, they looked at each other when I told them about my travel center idea, and they just, like, laughed. They, like, looked at each other like, that's what we want to do. That's what they have in mind for the property, is, is, is what I was just articulated. And so I was like, okay, yeah, this doesn't really bother, surprise bother me this doesn't surprise me one bit i said so i'm gonna you know i'm gonna see if you guys are available real soon and come out and take pictures because i want to see that freaking thing in real life their vehicle because you know i guess they're gonna be here a couple more weeks and i don't know if they're gonna drive it home they're waiting on parts right now it's always a parts wait man you live in rural areas it's hit or miss it's it's you know so i've been tracking supply chain issues or supply chain stuff for 22 years now though I've always been paying, and, and every, when I go into stores, I always ask people, you guys haven't tried, it doesn't matter where I go, and now people, now people are, they're, they're running out of stuff, having a hard time getting stuff and stuff, I'm like, well, it's inevitable, man, it's the progression of things, we were talking about, where was I when we were talking, I was talking about that, I said, people don't know how to do things, I said, they're not learning, it's like all these generations of family, they all did the same things, these farmers and stuff like that. They all did things that were support positions where, where, you know, it's products and services. And now with the tech age, it's a lot of, it's people, kids, these generations, they don't want to do the work, so they're not going to go out in the fields. They don't want to do the work, so they're not going to do the upholstery. They're not going to do all the, they're not going to work in the factories. They don't want to do the work because I didn't direct you to learn and, 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 what you need to know to have a freaking decently possibly potentially serene and happy life maybe <laughs> it's hard man it's an effort I, mean, I got all those all those issues people talk about so nonchalantly so casually you know people are, talk about people who get triggered yeah I'm one of those people who get triggered and just understand that, you know, if you see me doing a breathing practice, it's just because I'm trying not to be violent. <laughs> see, I've not, I haven't been violent. I've been, I, people have been violent with me and I protected myself and things like that. So I know how to be violent. I don't like being violent. I've seen too many people, too much violence. I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to perpetuate that. 
Yet so many people are just freaking getting violent in the world. They just, because all the, uh, that I have that I talk about all the time, they got it too, but they don't got the, the toolbox to, 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 to be productive and not productive and, and, and release that, uh, without putting your hands on other people. You know, I mean, on social media, I'm not, I am not, I, I'm not, I don't think it's okay that people put hands on people. In violent way, I don't think it's okay that people steal from large corporations, small... People shouldn't be stealing. People shouldn't be causing so much harm to the other human beings. And there's so much of that. But on social media, it's like... I'll say stuff like... S-T... F-U... You know, get at it. You know, on the governor's page and stuff. You know, like that. I'm very disrespectful. I respect people that do respectable things, and politicians aren't even people. They're paid actors. They're all perpetuating some nonsensical freaking storyline bullshit because people have ideas of grandeur. And these ideas, are they're not coming into play. And, I mean, the shift, it's already happened. It just hasn't happened yet. It's just, you know. But, um... It's getting interesting. And the hotter the temperatures are, shoot, my saw Omaha was going to be 108. Eh, is right. You know? Oh, is right. And um, I don't know what California is doing yet, but it's people are so chaotic inside and there's so much kinetic energy and so many people are all over the place emotionally. Yep, and it's 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 crazy weather season. So it doesn't matter, you know. If somebody's creating the weather, we're creating the weather with our own angst and anxiety, and you know, I, I, every day I try not to get upset. And then, like, I had a situation last night. Head initially goes to all of that, in which that would entail, like. The logistics of what it would take. And I was just like... Talk, I, I talk through things with mom a lot. A lot. And I'm talking through things and I'm like... Alright, you know. Okay. And, or she asked me to measure the door to see if it would fit. And so I, I, I said, I'll do that tomorrow. I'm not going to go looking for them. It's 8 o'clock at night. I was like walking the dogs their last walk, you know. And this is supposed to happen this morning. <laughs> so. Ultimately after some exchange. And I just. I, I just. Because my first inclination. Is is what I want to say. People get so butt hurt. When, when I say things. They get so hurt. And I'm just like dude. You say things to me like. Don't freak out about it. You know. I'm like. I have to get dry ice. I have to empty the fridge. I have to move the fridge. Yeah, I ha I ha you want... Uh, it's not a matter of w waving a mat. And people don't think of logistics because they haven't done things like that enough, right? To realize of what... We're, I gotta move furniture. I gotta move furniture. I mean, I'm just like, it's hot in here. I'm like, you know... I'm like, uh, don't freak out about it. That's when I left it alone. You know? Because I, I assure people, it, they will know when I'm going to freak out about something. Because I throw a tantrum like a little bitch. I will throw a tantrum like people will never, ever forget. Ever. Our meeting. Yep. Yeah. You know, just to show you, okay, this is me not freaking out. This is me freaking the fuck out. <laughs> you know what? I hate it. People have done that, 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 gla that gaslighting. Oh, you're so emotional. My brother was a very, he's the biggest. You're so emotional. 
You're so too much. People that have been too much have told me I'm too much. And I'm just like, what? But I don't go around telling people, wow, man, you're a lot. You're so emotional. I don't, I mean, that's just berating. That's just a freaking asshole thing to say, really. You know it? I don't want to be like that. So, the good news is I got the last two peppermint mocha creamers this morning in my cup of coffee. That was good. I was like, I should buy a lottery ticket. And then the lady, uh, the girl behind the counter, she looked so tired. She's like, this is my seventh day working. And she doesn't know when she's going to get a day. I, I've, I've, had, I've had periods like that. I think the longest I've ever worked was, like, stretch was like 39 days. how it managed, you know. They say they have labor laws and stuff like that. R rules and regulations, those are just for, I don't know what those are for. Little do-gooders like me. Anyway, I thought I'd do my talk a little bit earlier because I just, I've been like out of steam by the time I, I get this set up by the end of the day. and uh, I haven't been sleeping real good at night. Not so much. Uh, just learning how to, I, I just, I, I breathe through things all the time. I just, I'm like, man, it'd be so cool to live in a, in a, in a period of just like an hour where I wouldn't have to constantly through, like, breathe through stress, you know, and, and focus on being in the present moment. Because there's just so much life going on right now. There's so much life. Yeah, it's, Ducking, <laughs> ducking, you know, weave and ducking. So, so no, there's a, so I got a never mind on, on the whole thing. Cause I was like, dude, can't you find somebody to put a garage and put it, you know, you don't know, you live here your whole life. You're 50 years old and nobody has a garage you could put it in. First, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm less willing to be accommodating to people. People want me. My whole life, mom, that's why I've learned so much is because the shit that people have wanted me to do. Okay, I'll do it. And then so, and then I go through it and I learn about what a fucking shit job it is, you know. Because I was one of those, I would do whatever to be your buddy. I was helpful. I just wanted to, I've, I've been a service my whole entire life. This is, it's not, a, it's not a something, it's... <laughs> It ain't, it, it ain't, it ain't a freaking catchphrase or, you know, a gimmick or nothing like that. I was thinking about that today because I have mom walk, I'll be like, Ma, let's go look at this just to get her to walk back because sometimes it gets too hot. And, and once we find our forever home, I keep putting in, in the, in the order, I keep putting in for, uh, trees so we can walk around under the trees and stuff like that and have a nice but uh, by then we, but we need some 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 sun area for the garden and stuff mom i'll have mom come out and work in the garden with me or sit in the garden and stuff like that so i keep imagining this this stuff you know because it's just, it's getting too hot but uh anyway i think i've been running on running my mouth oh I didn't even talk. I do that. Is I hate naming these. I hate coming up with titles for these. So I'll think about titles like early in the morning and I'll write them down. I won't. And then I'll think about it, you know, and, you know, but the, the title of this, I was thinking about a little while ago when I was laying down, uh, recharging my batteries. Um, I called today's talk. You are so wonderful. Here, take this. Is it? Uh, well, when I was growing up, we moved around a lot. Until I was in high school, that was the longest we lived anywhere was the, the three years. I got to go to junior high the same. And then CVH, CVHS, the three years we stopped. But, but the I mean, there's a lot of... I think, I mean, I went to four schools and didn't go to school for seven weeks in the sixth grade. I, yeah, that was rough. Yeah, that was real hard. So I, I know what it's like to be the new person. And, and moving around, I pay attention to a lot of stuff. I was one of those highlights kids that always paid attention to what was different, including people's behaviors. And uh, 
because people have their patterns and their consistencies and then they switch it up and change them. Ah, uh, we all do it. I do it. Consistency is just not really a thing amongst the human race these days. So, uh, moving around, I, the, I look at the people that were popular, the popular kids, and I never understood what is it that freaking makes them popular, you know? But it usually, it, it was, they, it was their family. It was their money. It was their, you know, something like that. You know, it wasn't just a, the poor kid that, oh, everybody liked just because he was a cool kid. That just never was. It was like the, the freaking sh It was just somebody related to some. It was, it's just, this whole world is just like broken down because of nepotism. But it's never been in my favor, so it's easy for me to talk shit about every system because... These systems, I, I, I'm a person of integrity, and these systems don't want to take on that. They want to keep being slacky, so of course they're, they're not going to bring me on, because I'm going to be the one that points out all the places that need improvement. And people don't want that. They want people to enforce that they're fucking wonderful, you know? And these people, you know, that just are mediocre human beings at best, just pe they always get the free stuff. They always get the good stuff, you know. They're always catered to, and I just, I never got that. Now, we live in the world we live in, man. The people that are catered to, I'm like, man, <laughs> they're the they're the first that are gonna get freaking to go <laughs> in that three day window. Then we'll just be staying home, in ma. So, anyway, I would love to see a world where people of merit, character, integrity, you know, ha you know, like goodwill and heartedness, you know, where genuine people, where, where they get to see, succeed a little bit more and have a little bit more up, where that balance comes back 